dancers are showcased in this challenge. Start by using two bridge barbarians, one to the left and the right of this central goblin boat. This will attract the spear traps and the barbarian split. To the left, use one pecker, two super wizards and a further barbarian. And then to the right, use your mega sparky, two super wizards and move across to the goblin thrower in the center. You want to use a frost spell on the mountain in between the water and the defense to slow it down and to freeze the water. All of the goblins at the bottom are destroyed, so we can send a super miner in towards that goblin thrower. But towards the top, it's also good at this point to reinforce with another barbarian just to make sure your super wizards are protected. Since Mega Sparky is defense targeting, it will go straight for the Goblin Thrower. Once this goes down and the Spear Goblins spawn, Lightning Spell is to take down as many as possible. Zooming out at this stage, we can use the Endless Haste spell over this area. Reason being, we do not want to haste the troops on the left side, we want everything to merge together towards the end. We can also send in our Super Miner towards the Capital Hall. They will both go through the Spear Thrower first, and you can use your healing spell over all the Goblin Hoods so that the Miners are protected through not just the Spear Goblins, but also the Capital Hall Eagle Artillery Fire. The troops to the right in that of Mega Sparky and the Super Wizards will take out all the Goblins there, as will the Pekka and the Super Wizards to the left. With this final jump spell, you can use it over the bushes at the back so that the Pekka gains access to the Capital Hall, and this should guarantee your three stars. Remember, there is a special event coming very soon for the whole village, so be sure to subscribe to see that.